So in this question, we're given that 2 to the power of x multiplied by 4 to the power of y is equal to 1 over 2 root 2. And what we're being asked to do is to express y as a function of x. So what we want to do here is we want to perform some operations on this expression to isolate y and then to have an expression where y is equal to something where that something contains an x at some point. So taking a look at what we have, we first think about indices and indice laws. We know the following indice laws and we have that if we have a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n, that is going to equal to a of m plus n. So therefore, looking at what we have, we see that we have a 2x and a 4y. If we keep our 2x, but we know that 2 squared is going to equal 4. So if we write this, so if we take this term here and we write that as 2 to the power of 2y, these two things are equivalent. And then here we're going to write 1 over 2 root 2 in a different form. So we have 1 over 2, and then we know that root 2 is going to be equal to 2 to the power of a half. And then we have 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of a half. Then what we can do is we can apply this indice law to the left hand side here. So we'll therefore have that 2 to the power of x plus 2y is going to be equal to 1. And then we divide that by 2 to the power of 1 multiplied by 2 to the power of a half which is going to be equal to 2 to the power of 3 over 2. Since we know that 1 plus 1 half is going to be equal to 3 over 2. So then we also have the following in this law. We know that 1 over a to the power of m is going to be equal to a to the power of minus m. So we can therefore use this second in this law on this term here, so we can get rid of the denominator. So we're therefore going to have our left hand side stays the same. So have 2 to the power of x plus 2y is going to be equal to 2 to the negative 3 over 2. So now we have an expression where we have 2 to the power of something and 2 to the power of something. So we know that this then means that if we have a to the power of m is equal to a n then we know that m is going to be equal to n. So therefore, taking this back to what we have, we have 2 to the power of something and 2 to the power of something. And we can see both these exponents highlighted here in yellow. So we can therefore say that x minus 2y is going to be equal to negative 3 over 2. We can then rearrange this and we'll have that 2y is going to be equal to negative 3 over 2. 2 minus x and then dividing everything by 2 we have that y is going to be equal to negative 3 over 4 minus x over 2 and therefore we have found an expression for y and have completed the question. So taking a look back we knew that this question was worth 3 marks so we received our first mark for knowing to use the first in this law so we used that so we used that when we went from two two terms into combining them into one two term, where we added both the exponents. We then receive our second mark for using this, the third in this law here. So a of m is equal to a of n, then m is equal to n. So we use that to go from this step to this step, and that's where we received our second mark. And we received our third and final mark for going from this stage here down to our final answer where we received a third mark.